Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. This is great. This is great. Cavs you, won. You're not. Cavs even, won. But you're not even a Cavs fan. I won the bet, though. I'm not even a Warriors I won the bet, fan. Oh, oh, the Eastern Conference is terrible. The Eastern Conference sucks. No um, way the Cavs win this one. Boom, motherfucker. Boom. Two things. Boom. Two things. The West is. If better. we put the Western Conference <clears throat> up against the Eastern Conference. There's oh, the no West. doubt the West the wins. West Two, you fucking thought this one was over 3-1 also. I thought this game was over <laughs> after the first game. <laughs> and you the 30 listen, point blowout. You listen to Jalen Rose at halftime. He's talking about how the Warriors are going to be celebrating. Up seven. See, all right, Up all right. seven. <laughs> see, see, okay, okay, real quick. The, the West is better. I'm not, I'm not saying that. The, the, Cavs, the, Cavs are, the Cavs will beat... You know the Cavs will make it close on the Warriors against the best. The Warriors pl- uh, best are teams, one but... hot streak from Clay Thompson away or, from not or, even or being Steph here. Curry. No, no, no. The uh, Clay from anyone. game. I'm talking about the Clay game against the Thunder. Oh, okay. They're that performance away from not even All being right, here. Let's let's get into it. Cavs won this one 93-89, and Ricky and I were back and forth. We fought a couple times on this. The Cavs won it coming down three one. The first team in history to ever do that. LeBron James is your unanimous Finals MVP. Don't get on that yet. We'll get to it later. Can we just say MVP? Can we okay. just say Finals MVP? He's the MVP? Finals Thank MVP. You. Doesn't fucking matter. Um. Okay. He's the Finals MVP. Cavs. Win in this when they finally get a championship Cleveland does I think it's been 50 years 54 64 yeah 64 I think 54 yeah. was the last time they won it uh, so congratulations to Cleveland congratulations to LeBron Ty Lee was crying on the bench LeBron was flying on the crying on the floor of the Oracle let's jump in and talk about what went wrong for the Warriors and is it don't make they didn't make their shots in some <laughs> spots they, no this game was actually I didn't have a huge problem with the Warriors in this game. There were some times where Steph Curry where it's like, okay, that's Warrior ball. That's what it is. And it's one of those things like the behind-the-back cl- pass to Clay. awful idea. Yeah, it was awful. Awful idea. But it's one of those things where if it goes the other way, we're saying, holy shit, did you just see what Steph and Clay did? That's how they play. It's either blow you out of the gym, oh, my God, did you just see that, or the recklessness. To me, the reason why the Warriors lost this game is they played. To me, I know you said before we re- hit the record button that Festus should be in this, but they played Verge out too much. They should have went with the lineup that was green and the smalls. See, yeah, I, I agree. Sean Sean Livingston should have got more more minutes here. But real quick, I do want to mention though, you know, this is game seven. You're not going for highlights. You're not going for like behind the back passes. No, You're but that's going just for who the, the Warriors are. Yeah, but I mean with, with game seven, you gotta you gotta kind of win kind the of game. It doesn't Steph make... Curry. Yeah. So I... I mean it's it's one of those things where, yeah, you can say it's game seven and you just gotta worry about winning, but I also go with the fact of it's game seven. Don't change anything. It's, just be you. It's also game seven. Nearly played thirty nine minutes. I mean, you would want to see him mm-hmm. out on the court more if he's if he is the unanimous MVP, the okay. first ever in his okay. history. Some, you would want some, him being some of it was some early foul trouble in the true. first half. I, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying you would want to see him out there. Foul trouble one, definitely played into it. One of it. those fouls that I think it was. I said Thompson. It could have been Shumpert. Didn't matter. It was Shumpert, Made yeah. some contact. Curry got called with a foul that was bullshit. That maybe he would have been in a few more minutes if that didn't happen. But but then again, we cannot complain about the refs. We we can but complain I mean, all we want in game six about about every single foul on curry but i mean but this on that, one was this one was you know 50 50 calls i mean that it was same, probably the worst call on that same side of it i mean you could say with curry well hey don't need to do that it's game seven just play your game i could say the same thing for lebron i know that he eventually won the finals mvp but there were times in this game even where i'm like why are you going back to what lost you mm-hmm. three games why are you driving in and kicking out you're fucking LeBron James. Take it the whole. Jordan wouldn't be passing to Kerr unless okay. Kerr's wide open in the corner for a game winner. But LeBron needed to finish more. He needed to be. I know they won, but I was like, come on, just take it to the hole, finish it, be LeBron James. You don't have to defend Jordan right now. You can you can we'll put wait, that to rest we'll right now. That. But I I agree. I mean, five turnovers from LeBron. I mean, if you're the Finals MVP, you cannot be turning the ball over five times like that. I'm and not they even were they were turn it over, just but they the were kickouts. Yeah, well, I mean, they came mostly on those. I mean, it was the kickouts. I mean, it was they were crucial points too because it was like, all right, mm-hmm. the Cavs are finally getting back into it. The Cavs are finally getting motivated, and then it was turnover, 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 turnover. And I think they got a couple lucky times because when they turned it over, I think Clay, uh, Curry probably turned. Over, I think one of them he turned it over right away again. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I mean, looking from a Warriors st- standpoint, I could probably say that Steve. I mean, outside of the play on the field, Steve Kerr also helped 
lose this game for him because Festus shouldn't have been out on the court as much as he was. I think he played 11 minutes. That's way too much for him. Varishow shouldn't get in eight minutes there. Both of them, way too much time for both of them. I don't know. With Festus, though, like the defense, the thing that was the like, and this is why I say Anderson Varishow mm-hmm. and not Festus because when Varishow was out there, he looked like a goddamn goon. Like, get him off. Today, I saw, like, this game, I saw the flop. And I was like, okay, that's that a flop. Brutal. That that's was brutal. a flop. With Azili, it, was, it wasn't his fault that they switched him to LeBron. It's just, I think Iguodala needed to be like, no, I'm going to try to get back. You stay on your guy. I've got this guy. Or Green, I've got LeBron. You stay with your guy and don't let him switch. Because it was kind of like a 90s basketball thing for a moment where the Cavs said, we're just going to keep going to this until you beat it. They did. And they, they, they couldn't beat it because you saw that on the last play, the last uh, Kyrie shot where they switched mm-hmm. from Clay to uh, Steph and Kyrie, Kyrie makes that shot over him. I mean, the switches were obviously huge there. But I mean, even look at looking at their plus minus, I mean, Festus was minus nine, Verojao was minus nine in, in limited minutes. Most Bates, he was, you could put him at center. I mean, he was an energy guy. I think in five minutes, he had four rebounds. I mean, he was big there. He had two blocks. He had a plus three there. I mean, you could have put most Bates in there more. He only played five minutes. I don't know why Festus got more minutes than him because Festus can't even catch a pass. I mean, you look at uh, most, I mean, you look at uh, Verojao too. I mean, he's I don't know, ver- there were some early from Festus where it's like, Oh, if that would have just went in. And it wasn't like a bad dunk. It was just like it just didn't he go mi- in. It was just, it was, there were terrible. It was I mean, just, it didn't just go in. can't make a, a shot. Ball. Yeah, I mean, it was, it wasn't even 50 50. I think he was under the basket for like and two. And Barnes, of them. he hit the first one. I'm like, okay, yes. He's back. You're going to be key. And then everyone he went was. one for four. Yeah, everyone was. He was like, ah, oh, Harrison's back. Nope. No, he's not. He went three for 10. Uh, but yeah, I mean, looking at, looking at uh, the Warriors, clearly the MVP of this game and clearly the MVP of Draymond. the final, Draymond. I, I can give him as much crap as I want for, you know, the dirty play, the fragrance, all of this. I cannot deny how massively huge he was. I mean, six from eight from three, uh, his shooting percentage of 11 for 15 from the field was massive. His rebounds almost getting another triple-double. I mean, Draymond was huge. Draymond, Draymond was massive in this game. I'm also going to go one step further with Draymond because I know throughout these playoffs, you and Dave on the fast break have called Draymond a dirty player. After what he did after this game, I don't know if you can't call him a dirty player. Okay, hold on. Uh, that was his... the best class of sportsmanship okay. that I've seen. No, I, you can still say on the court he's a dirty player, but I have so much respect for Draymond Green. Like, off the court, I mean, the way the way he played in this game, you know, that was gritty. That was a, uh, He was a warrior out there. He was a leader out there. And then, the, the, you know, the, the sportsmanship to go out and— you know, congratulate LeBron. I mean, as much as I can give to him, like for the the nut shots, for all the dirty play he has, for the moving screens where he's basically you know throwing hip checks out there, I can give him all the crap there. But I mean, outside of that, do I hate Le- Draymond Green as a player? No, because you know, with the way he plays the sport, just tough. I mean, well, he's a warrior. Can, he's a gladiator. I can give him as much you know mm-hmm. shit as you as shit as I can for all the the dirty plays and all the the the, the perfectly aimed uh, follow throughs with his, the, his with his leg. But I mean, Dude, just going emotion. going just, to just that followed their most going it's to natural. Congratulate LeBron and, and just the way he played. 47 minutes of just pure hard basketball. Draymond Green was clutch in this game. And and, and if they won, I, I, I might have changed my decision from LeBron should have won it no matter what, the finals MVP, oh, to Golden's, Draymond. If being Golden State finals wins MVP. this game, Draymond's the MVP. I wouldn't if he was, I wouldn't argue with you. I mean, the way he played was just phenomenal there. Uh and, and the reason why that would have happened, I know it didn't, but I just want to say the reason why it would have happened. We saw what the Warriors were like without him, mm-hmm. and this is what they were like. With and even him. with him in Game Six, I mean, it, w- it wasn't true Draymond there, and you finally but got. He was true... out for a game, and he was kind of. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. He wasn't he got true. Thrown out of his exactly. like, mental. I'm, I'm saying it wasn't yeah. true Draymond. This was true Draymond. I mean, here. eleven of fifteen, six of eight. The I know six he was co- or the he six, was, five he or was five colder start. front. He was, like he was cold in the. Um, second half from yeah. three, but that five from five to start. That was amazing. Oh. And they were all swishes. They were n- not even well, like bouncing in. It was just it, boom, It boom, goes boom, back boom. to, it goes back to, oh, I want to say this was during the Oklahoma City series where he made a comment where he said, yeah, you know, Luke just came up to me and said during the timeout, Draymond, if you get that shot, just go with it. Just go with your mm-hmm. confidence. Don't second guess it. And it's like, since then, I was watching these, and I'm like, every single one wasn't given a hesitation, just caught it, shoot it, made it. That's how it went. It was just very much, I saw 
what he said Luke told him in that series in all of these shots, especially the five for five. I mean, if I'm the Warriors, I maybe I, I think Draymond deserves a contract extension, just a ton of more money backed up to him just because of the way he played. I mean, the way Draymond played, kind of like a restructuring. Fantastic. Yeah, I mean the the way he played. I mean, he is he is one of the most valuable pieces on. on on any NBA team. I mean, mm-hmm. it, it's not even secluded to the Warriors anymore. I mean, he was bigger than Clay. He was bigger than Curry in this game. He was bigger than any other Warrior. I mean, outside of LeBron, he was easily the second best player on the court this game. And, and you could even make the argument that he was better than LeBron. There's I also, mean, you could say that this there, game at least. There's also one other thing that when you say, what did the Warriors not do enough to win this game? They didn't get to the line enough. Oh, without a doubt. And I mean, I know you're going to get that. I mean, three point shooting team. It's harder to get calls on a three because it's just a straight up stand and shoot kind of a shot. Didn't when we you get drop, two though? Didn't we get LeBron one? Yeah, and Iggy got one too. But no, I'm but I'm saying, saying yeah, like I'm it, saying. it's an easier call to get when you're driving to the lane, oh, of drawing course. contact. Of course, yeah. So I mean, that's something that yeah played into their team style, but they needed to get to the line more because Cleveland got to the line way more than them. One thing, well, that's more of their play. I mean, I think what the Warriors took 41 threes. Mm-hmm. And the, I mean, yeah, but how the Cavs many took how 25. many foul shots did they take? I want 20, to say was, twenty-five free throws and thirteen for the Warriors. Yeah. but I mean, but, but at one it point was more, it was four. Yeah, but the more the more I was saying is, it's just you know they were t- obviously taking more outside mm-hmm. shots. And one thing I do want to say about Draymond too, I mean, the foul on LeBron, like the last foul when LeBron hurt his wrist, I mean, it was clean. I mean, it wasn't like a dirty foul. It wasn't like there was an intention to hurt. He was just playing hard. I mean, LeBron was going as fast as he can. Draymond was just doing everything in his might to stop it, and he did. I mean, it was it was fantastic play from Draymond, and I, I can't I can't. Say enough about Draymond. I mean, he he won my respect. A short aside: if you have not followed this guy on Snapchat, you have to. But Me? one of my favorite, no. one of my favorite rappers right now, Little Dicky, was at the game, and it was funny because at first he's like, "Well, oh, okay, where's our seats?" He was right behind Russell Wilson and Sierra, and by the end of the game, he was at the end of the Warriors bench. <laughs> like the owner of the Warriors let him try on last year's ring. That's awesome. And he was sitting on the bench, and it's like the distance where we are to the camera right now is how close he was to LeBron when LeBron was on the ground. Damn. Like, and he had it on the Snapchat, and I was like, that is so fucking cool. All right. That is so cool. I just wanted to get that out. Let's, cool let's, let's go over the Cavs now. And we were not, we, won't, we won't talk about the decision of uh, MVP, NBA Finals, uh, Finals MV, M- NBA Finals MVP, because Rick is kind of sore about the, the well, thing that's in front of it. Well, wait, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll no, talk no, about no, more. No, no, no. I just want to say the one thing about it. The only reason I feel like they said, like, how Adam Silver was like, the, and you're the unanimous MVP. The only reason they really made a point to say that is to say, I'm sorry because you got Because he was unanimous? Hurt. I'm sorry that you got butt hurt that I, you didn't get one LeBron, vote. I, I honestly don't think LeBron gives a fucking two shits about the NBA final, I, uh, NBA, M, NBA MVP anymore. I think he gave, people I think know he that he's gave a player. damn. I think he, he gave did. a damn. Now he doesn't give a fucking shit. No, no now, now he, he doesn't. doesn't care. Now he doesn't. Now he doesn't care but, at all. I think he gave a damn. Well, I think you could did. see that he gave a damn because look how no, hard I he know. played. I mean, I know, look how hard but he played. I, you can't say he didn't give a damn because he kind of did. Earlier in the season, but yeah, now no. now he doesn't care. Curry can go home to his wife, who's he's apparently turning the Wi-Fi off on her. Uh, but I mean, <laughs> like I, I look at I look at the way LeBron played. He doesn't give a shit anymore about the 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 NBA MVP finals. He's got the NBA MVP. He does, he's got four of them at home. He doesn't care. I mean, he's he's known as the best player in the world now after after his performance. But the guy I do want to talk about. And the guy that I am so happy that he finally got a ring. JR? No, Kevin Love. Oh, I was gonna this say guy JR. has been brutalized, just murdered in every single media outlet. Could still even, be traded. Let's even be us. I'm not saying he won't be traded. He could he's still been, go to he's Boston. He's been blasted by us, too. Yeah, they could still ship him off to Boston. But, I mean, looking at his performance, K Love was fantastic. I mean, was he terrible shooting? Yeah, 0 for 3 from but 3. He grabbed 3 boards. from 9. But man, was he playing his heart out? Was he hustling? Was he grabbing boards? I mean, and that that, that defense on Curry, where Curry had the ball for basically you know the whole shot clock and couldn't get up a clean shot because of K Love's defense. I mean, he was fantastic. If you want to say that, I mean, all the guys in in the big three for the Cavs had their moments. Kyrie had the game winning shot. LeBron had that monstrous block on Iguodala, which was probably one of the greatest blocks of all time. And Caleb had that possession where he just shut down Curry. I mean, the the way that Caleb played, he I mean, I he already had my respect, but I think he's become my favorite player. No, I the one thing with the Caleb mm-hmm. thing that you brought up, I think Tristan Thompson Thompson played the better defense on Curry. 
Oh, the I mean, one, Tristan Thompson that, was that huge, too. That one play where Curry was running back and forth baseline, and Thompson was like, no, I'm denying you well, the ball. Well, I'm not even going to let you get the ball. It's not It's not even – well, I think K-Loves was more important because it was at more of a clutch time. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was – if he made that three, then they would have – I think they would have been up by three. But, I mean, looking at what Tristan Thompson's done this whole series, that's why I didn't mention him because Tristan Thompson's been – Biz McBiambo's doing this. Tristan That's Thompson's doing. like, I earned this. I mean, yeah. Tristan Thompson's Bion- contract looks great Bionbo's now. going, I'm going to get paid Yeah, now. I mean, Tristan Thompson's contract looks great. But the reason I mentioned K-Love is because he's been so quiet. I mean, people are just blasting him like, where's Kevin Love? He's supposed to be the big three. And he, he showed up, and he played his heart out. And I, I got to give him so much credit. I mean, the, I think it was in the first quarter, too. He was huge on the offensive boards. He tried to grab a rebound. Someone someone on the Warriors tried to rip it apart from him. He tear it away, and then I think, he, I think he got a bucket there, too. I mean, K-Love was huge. For the Cavs, another guy was huge. I mean, we talked about role players stepping up at home. Role players stepped up for the uh, Cavs, too. I mean, K-Love obviously did. Tristan Thompson did. Three for three from the field and that big defensive uh, stop uh, on Curry, too. But even look at Richard Jefferson. Richard Jefferson wasn't as big, but he's still you know very valuable on I defense. I thought you were going to bring up JR. He was, he was, I was going to end it I on mean, JR. JR. I was going to end on JR. J- Eight straight points to, to start me, the second quarter. To me, you could make a claim for JR having the, the most key six points of Eight this points. game. So, no, no, no. I'm just saying six because there were two threes that he made oh, yeah. earlier in the third that kind of sparked that run to put them up. No, eight. he had eight straight points there. That's what I was yeah. saying. I mean, I'm, I'm just tagging. Were, I'm just, I'm he had bigger just, than six. I'm just ta- oh, those talking two about shots the two huge. threes oh, where it was completely. like, boom. Two shots were huge. Put I them mean, up eight. And then if you have not seen or listened to his post game conf- comments yeah. in the conference, I know this whole series. I've been rooting for the Warriors. I've been on the side of the Warriors. Our bet didn't help, too. Well, it didn't. But you can't, like, you can't hear those comments and not have a fucking soft spot for the oh, for one of the hardest with his dad, for yeah. one of I mean, the hardest guys in the league. Because you know how I said that, oh, well, this is the Father's Day championship. Steph Curry's gonna win it just like Jordan did. No, no, no. J.R. Smith see, had the Jordan Father Day moment. See, I mean, yeah, I mean, with, with his actual embrace with his father. But, I mean, the reason why J- people hate J.R. Smith is because of the stuff off the court. And, I mean, even on the court, he's kind of, he's, he's, he's a guy who gets in your face. Well, it's like the his thing, daughter said, I'm just glad he made it yeah. to the finals without getting kicked off the team. But with Draymond, you can, you can hate him for what he does on the court, but you can't really hate what he does off mm-hmm. the court because he's never making news off the court. With J.R., I mean, people just don't like what he's done off the court. I mean, the stuff with Melo and the car accident, like, really early on in his career, I mean, even since then, too. But, I I mean, J.R. Smith was clutch. Could you imagine if clutch. him and Shumpert, if they don't get traded, they're not winning rings. That was another— that was They're another, not winning rings because they'd still be in New York. That was another thing I want to mention, too, because LeBron in his— um, in his pro- post game, they were like, he was like, you know, when I first got here, they're like, yeah, we're getting Iman, we're getting Timothy, and they're throwing in Jr. And he's like, we're th- they're throwing in Jr. Yeah, we'll take Jr. If they're throwing in Jr., what does that mean? And obviously, I mean, throwing in AJ- Jr. was probably the biggest, yeah, one of the Phil, biggest moves. Because Phil mean, just wanted to get rid of him. Yeah, I mean, a- everything that the Cavs did. I mean, even if you know, if LeBron somehow doesn't stay after this, if they trade K Love, if, if this team gets blown up or people pieces are moved when Richard Jefferson retires, because I think he is, mm-hmm. and you, know, you want to give. Richard Jefferson is props too, because I mean, this man pl- didn't play like a 36 year old. He played like a 24 year old throughout this whole playoffs. But it, it, all of this doesn't matter because he got the ring for Cleveland. And the Cavs played a great game. I mean, Mo Williams shouldn't have gotten five minutes. Shumpert, I mean, Shumpert was decent, but to start off, he was he was trash. But I mean, and and Ty Lue didn't make the best decisions. But it, it, in the end, it doesn't matter. I mean, it, it doesn't matter unless you get the ring. And you could say that about the Warriors. 73 and nine doesn't mean a thing without the ring. Cleveland finally got the ring for uh, Cleveland, and it, it's fantastic to see. Cleveland finally get that relief. Now, here's the one thing I do want to bring up about this series because I kind of feel like we're getting to the end of all we could talk about with just well, yeah, this game. Yeah, we're, we're done with the game. The way I, and I thought about this today, how I see this finals and last year's finals mm-hmm. is we'll see you again next year. Mm-hmm. It's 1 1, best of three. First one to three, baby. See, I would, I would, or first one to two because it'd be a best of three. I would, I would like that. I mean, I would like to see, you know, them meet up again, but because the way I see this mm-hmm. is Cavaliers lost last year because James didn't have Love or Kyrie, and we're talking about how, oh, well, if he would have had those guys, they would have won it. Yeah, well, I mean, just like this year, yeah, he did have them and they won. However, you could say. There were some moments this series. Draymond suspension. Draymond, I was going to bring that up first, but Draymond suspension because I think if he plays game five, this was over in five. I mean, the way I say that is 
the because Green came out and played like he did in Game 7, you could say, well, Ricky, it was Game 7. That's why he came out and played like that. No, I still feel like after winning Game 4, he would have had a similar game in Game 5 at the Oracle. It's over in 5. So that's 1. And 2, the Bogut injury. So you could, yeah. if you're a Warriors fan and you're looking for an excuse, you could throw those out there. That's why I say let's get these two teams together next year. Let's settle it. Both teams turn the injuries off in 2K. See who wins. See, see the one thing that I do want to do, do want to mention. I mean, the stuff with like an excuse. I asked this on the fast break when we did our game, game seven preview. It was like, well, what's the excuse going to be for the Warriors if they lose? And, it, and and I don't want this to be a tainted win for Cleveland because if it's been so long, and I mean, people are going to bring up the injuries. People are going to bring up the suspension. People are going to bring up the NBA is rigged. I mean, again, you can't rig this close of a game, this hard fought of a game. I mean, and and there was nothing here where you say, well, if this went this way or this. Went that way, I mean, it, it was just a basketball game. There was no like, oh, a ref's call turn made this decision. It was it was a chess match between the coaches that both mm-hmm. of them didn't win because I mean they both really didn't shine in any any department. I mean the coaches really were were messing up. I mean T. Lou had some bad t- timeout calls. Kerr obviously played Festus and Anderson way too much. And then you look at you know just the play on the court too. I mean. Steph could have stepped up and made his shots. Clay could have stepped up and made his shots. But then again, you look at Draymond's gutsy performance. You look at LeBron's gutsy performance, his gutsy block when he was dead tired in the fourth. You can look at Kyrie's huge shot. I mean, this was just a clear-cut basketball game, and this was do or die. And the, the best, I mean, not the best team, but the team that played the hardest won this. I mean, you could say that the Warriors are still the best team because they set the record, but the team that played the hardest and the team that really you could see that they wanted it more won this. There's two things that the one thing I'm just going to, and this is the last time I will say it, you can say that, oh, well, you can't rig anything in this game because you can't. However, the one thing, if you are one of those people that wants to throw out the word rig, you could say, oh, well, then the whole waiting two days to give the flagrant and suspending green just to make sure maybe the series goes on past five. Maybe you could say, okay, fine, they rigged game five. See, I, They rigged one game, but the, you're right. The team that went out, and to me it just seemed like the team that wanted it more, won this finals. And the one thing that you made me think of is maybe one of the things we could look into it is the Warriors had a much harder time, much stronger like road mm-hmm. to this finals where the Cavaliers, their biggest road, their biggest obstacle was Toronto. Was Toronto, who and won two games. Kind of. Well, they Toronto won two at home. That kind of just was like just them playing for we the North. Whereas the Warriors were down three one and had to play themselves back yeah. into the finals. You could also say that the the, the Curry injury uh, in game in, in the first series yeah, too but, kind of had, had an effect there because we don't really know how badly Steph is injured because yeah. he was asked about that too and he said it wasn't there it wasn't been, any injuries there it wasn't been, anything physical there but have you could still some see things that I've heard that. There have been some people that are like actual reporting stuff that they wouldn't be surprised if in a week or two we find out Steph needs surgery. Yeah. Like that's what the journalists and reporters are kind of thinking on the matter. So to me, that's another thing. If it comes out where, yes, Steph needed surgery, that goes right into the bogey injury part. Oh, okay. The teams weren't completely healthy. We can do the same thing we did to Cleveland. We didn't take away from the Warriors. But we still said, oh, well, if Cleveland wasn't as injured. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now let's let's get into the conversation of what they need to do to get back here. And for Cleveland, we'll make it simple. I mean, honestly, you just need to keep LeBron. LeBron. Need to leave. You keep LeBron and you keep Kyrie. You could probably move K-Love because obviously we just see we saw him step up for Game 7. If you do want to bring in a player who doesn't have a, that much pressure Kevin on him. Durant. And you, you, well, uh, they're not going to bring Katie. How the hell are they, they going to make that work? They, How are they, they going to make that love? work? Well, stay tuned to the fast break where they we're going to make 30 other videos well, on yeah, where KD is going to go. Dude, yeah. I can't wait for See, that KD to the Kings video. I, man. Can, I can't wait until <laughs> KD signs a one year contract with a th- Thunder and stays. Uh, but for the Cavs to get back to the NBA Finals, really, you keep LeBron, you keep Kyrie, and you keep you know the the, the key guys like J.R. Smith and Tristan Thompson, which, I mean, you're going to keep Tristan Thompson because he's mm-hmm. on the contract. As long as you can have those role players around LeBron and Kyrie, it's going to be a pretty easy road. I mean, I know Boston would be threatening, and I know Toronto would be threatening. I was going to throw we'll them out. See. I was going to throw them out. I think Boston's going to be. I know uh, Toronto fans. I'm Toronto's going to stay in it. I'm not trying Toronto's to take anything away from you, but I think that Boston's the team 
They're the team that's up and coming and are going to have to challenge the Cavs soon. They're an up and coming team. I mean, they're going to be could, challenging you also, the Cavs. You also soon. don't want to throw out the Heat too, just because. I mean, I know Wade's getting older and Bosch might never see the court again, but and, and they might lose Whiteside. So, but again, we do have to wait till the the off season's done and well, over yeah, with we to got actually the draft see. On Thursday. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see what happens, but uh, we'll we'll definitely. I think the Cavs do have a much easier road, and they really don't have to do too much to make this team better because I don't really know what you can you need to make better when you have the best player in the world on your team in LeBron James. What do the Warriors need to do? I'm just worried that this Warrior team does. I don't think they will, mm-hmm. but I'm worried that they may blow it up. And what I mean blow mm-hmm. it up is everybody besides the big three and Curry, Thompson, and See, Green. I, I don't think like, so. Because we've seen teams have that kind of like, fuck it, we got to blow it up because we didn't win the title. See, to me, it's just if Barnes walks, that's fine. But mm-hmm. to me, if you can get Barnes for a cheaper deal, you keep him. Because I know that I know you can say, yeah, but Ricky didn't play well in the finals. But the way I see it is this team is a shooting team. Shooters are going to get hot. Shooters are going to get cold. How do you get hot? You shoot out of it. They Who knows? If we play two more games, maybe he shoots out of it. He's not a bad player. He just went cold at the absolute he, worst yeah, time. Yeah, he's not a bad player. But is he a great player? Is he franchise changing? Yeah, but he no, but he's a good a role player. player he's a good player for this yeah. team. I was going to say, system. he's a good role yeah. player. Yeah, I think Spates is the big one. He could be gone. Like he, I, he could be running and getting a bigger contract see, somewhere. Yeah, I think I think if, if I'm the Warriors. And he, Livingston. Yeah, if I'm the Warriors, you got to keep the, the main three. I mean, that that's obvious. You're not going to get rid of those. Festus can easily. Easily walk, get him out of town. Mm-hmm. Let Verjao go because he's just pointless. You get rid of Brandon Rush, Ian Clark, James McIntyre. You guys, you don't need those guys. But I think a key signing is Leandro Barbosa because, or keeping him around because the way he played in the finals. I mean, god damn, if there wasn't a more crucial bench player outside of Richard Jefferson, it was Leandro Barbosa. Would, he was big. I would put Livingston before. Barbosa. Okay, that, well, those two. I mean, if if we're, Le- you, I'm, I'm, I just don't want to discredit of, Leandro kind Barbosa. Of kinding- are you kind of qualifying Livingston as a starter off the bench? Yeah, I mean, I, I, but what I'm just trying to say is I don't want to discredit what Leandro Barbosa did. I, yeah. I mean, uh, we knew that Sean Livingston could be great. I mean, Leandro game Barbosa, one, he went off. Yeah, I mean, he, uh, in, I mean, in game two, too. I mean, mm-hmm. played four minutes and made his only three. I mean, it, it, it was... It was spectacular to see what Leandro Barbosa did. I think I think you need to keep Iggy as long as Iggy's back's fine. We know he can be a, a fantastic player off the bench. But outside of that, you need rim protectors. That means getting rid of Bogut. To big. Yeah, if that means getting rid of Bogut, then get him out. But you, I mean, you got to keep Bogut and just draft someone behind him. Uh, maybe, maybe you just need. You <laughs> if need, you're going to get rid of Festus and Verjao, you can't get rid of Bogut. Too. You need you need a goddamn rim protector. But I mean, with Bogut, he can has he stay been healthy, a rim protector. But can he stay healthy? Okay, that's, that's my okay, question. Okay, that knee injury. And how bad is the knee injury? Yeah, but the thing with that that knee injury it's not like a and i know being from chicago i know all about knee injuries and what they can do to a player but the one thing that knee injury was just he landed on that and then the way love kind of fell onto mm. him and that knee kind of bent the wrong way that's why he got injured yeah i mean well but, th- but then again again he does have injury problems so then if he can't recover and if he loses his mobility i mean he doesn't have that he's not that mobile as it is right well, now big man without knees is not good yeah just ask so, Greg Oden. so we'll definitely see what well he had, had two longer yeah. legs uh or one leg was longer that's than what the i'm other. saying ask Greg Oden. but with i will de- we'll definitely see what, what moves are made but you definitely need someone in the middle mm-hmm. that i mean or you don't even need a rim protector you need someone that can score inside because that was another problem too they were settling for outside threes kd no, no, a post scorer. God damn it! Quit bringing up KD. Quit bringing. I'm, I'm saying a, a, a low scorer that, mm-hmm. that you can rely on because I mean, I mean, maybe Bogut's that guy, but a guy that you know in in the clutch moments where you need a guy who who can take it down low and score because the threes were obviously hurting him when they weren't falling. You need a guy who can go in low and get the easy shots, get the high percentage shots, and make those buckets. Do I know if that guy's out there? No. Do I know if they can get that guy? No. I don't know how expensive that guy is, but I think feel like you need someone who can be who. Can can sit down low and, and do that kind of do that thing for you, and maybe maybe they do go for the draft uh, to the draft and find that player. But we'll, we'll definitely see what happens. And and then one more final thing we do want to bring up that Ricky wanted to bring up, and it was well, to it dispel, just pisses me it off. It was dis, to dispel the LeBron versus MJ stuff. So go well, and I mean it pisses me off the most that you see first thing on ESPN today. Is this the time where LeBron can finally pass Jordan? He's only the thirty-two. Best ever? No. No, like stop it, like no, he's not. Like, yes, we Ricky's can agree. Butt hurt. He's the, well, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The finals over. We're friends again. It's one of those things where it's like the way I see it. 
Jordan went to six. Jordan won six. Boom. Right I, there. It's, I, it's just what Reggie Miller said on the Dan Patrick show. It's kind of hard when Jordan won six, went to six. See, it, it, Batting see, 100. There's, there's no conversation, uh, LeBron, MJ, career right now. If if LeBron comes out and wins you know, six six finals or seven finals, then maybe there'll be a little bit of a discussion. Still, a li- a Jordan li- is still I'm, perfect. I'm just, okay, well, Joe Montana's still perfect too, but, I mean, Tom Brady's held as the, the greatest quarterback of all time. So I mean, I'm just I'm not saying I'm not saying right now there's a discussion, but I'm mm-hmm. saying down the road if he does win, I don't you know, think there's ever a discussion. I'm just saying if there's four more titles or eight, okay, six more if titles, he, if he puts up, if he goes on and wins a ton of more titles, then there will be some discussion. Yeah, but he could be number career, two. If we're talking about career versus to career, it's MJ no, without a doubt because of, of the six for six and because of the clutch moments and because of how great he was in the finals and how great he was in the regular season. But if we're talking about you know. Mock draft, you're getting these guys in their prime. I who, are you, who are you taking to build a, a franchise? Then there's that discussion because it, then there's the discussion of J- Le- LeBron versus Jordan. I know you would take Le- Jordan, but I'm saying there's a there's there's a discussion there. If we're talking career versus career, it's the, Jordan without a doubt. The reason but, the reason why I take Jordan in that case too is to me, yes, is is LeBron a great player? Is he the best player the best in the of NBA? All time. Yes. Of the best of all time. Yeah. Is he in the top five of NBA players all time? Yes. Yes. However, to me, it comes down to there. I can't excuse to a fact that you were down three one in this series. I can't excuse a fact, and I know that the team I'm about to bring up was the worst team ever to make an NBA Finals, but you got swept in the NBA Finals. Like Jordan never got swept in the Finals, and also Jordan was that player where you looked, you never looked at Jordan and said. How much does he want? You can. You, Jordan was that player that, like, yeah, you might have beat him some games, but he was a guy that he was not going to take shit from you, and he was going to lay it all out on the basketball court. You could you could swipe the the first ever finals appearance from LeBron because LeBron LeBron was going up against a, a, a powerhouse. He still got swept. He did. He did. And I'm not saying I'm not saying you're wrong. And I'm I'm on the side of career versus career. It's mm-hmm. MJ. MJ could could LeBron somehow make this discussion down the road? No, possibly never. That's why I say okay, never. I'm saying possibly. If if he wins fucking never. twenty titles, then yeah, there will be a fucking discussion, Ricky. But he's not going to win twenty. Like, okay, on, he's be, not. But I'm saying, could here. there be? Yes, there could be a discussion at any point. Mm-hmm. Could there be down the road? Yes, I know. No. I know in your bubble that it's going to be always Jordan. It's, but if he wins eleven Jordan. career titles and becomes the greatest, uh, you know, the most sco- po- uh, point scorer of all time, and wins like seven NBA f- MVPs, then yes, there will be a discussion. Okay, what, it, it doesn't matter who your answer is, but there will be a discussion. Right now, there's not a discussion. But again, there's a discussion if it's like who who are you, who do you want to build a, a, a franchise around? There you can discuss there. I mean, that doesn't matter. Well, you, career versus career. You, there's could, no discussion. like, take LeBron, but on my side, I'm yeah, still picking I'm saying Jordan. Career versus career, there's no discussion. Yeah. I, I, I'm fine with I'm fine with that. But but what matters is you're going to see him in a LeBron James jersey. I'm not as mad about it anymore. I wasn't going to be mad about the Draymond thing. I, like, I, with, with Draymond's Game 7 performance, I wouldn't have been it's mad. It's one of those things where it's like, it could be worse. It could be a Delva Dova jersey. Ooh. I fucking hate That's going to be next year's bet. There's no more bets. There's more bets. There's no more bets. I want to bring up one last thing. Make bets again. One last Great thing, again. and this is short. Yeah. Comparison I thought about today uh-huh. is, and I know that it's not ideal because it's not the same two teams, but mm-hmm. is could we call Steph Curry the Russell Wilson of the NBA? Why? Wins a super wins a Super Bowl, then goes up against the the greatest player in the sport right now and loses on. Technically a last second shot. No. And for the Super Bowl it was Tom Brady with the last second it stop was, at the line. It was Pete it was Pete Carroll's fault for not calling Marshall Mike. It was Pete Carroll's fault. <laughs> but what I'm saying is LeBron, Tom no, Brady, Russell nah, Wilson. It, Russell Steph Wilson Curry. was never an MVP. I mean Steph Steph Steph's a top yeah, Steph's the second best player in the that NBA. Seattle Russell team, Wilson's not a top five quarterback. That Seattle right team came onto the scene yeah. much like this Warrior no, team. I, I disagree, but whatever. It's just something I thought about. Whatever. I mean, was, it's not. I don't know if it holds water. That's why I just threw it out. There. Final question: Greatest M- M- Game Seven uh, of the th- uh, g- g- fin- Greatest Game Seven of the NBA Finals ever? Would you say yes or no? Uh, this one? Yeah. Maybe. 
Maybe that game seven that he played against the Spurs was pretty. That was a great one too. Yeah, I, I would say I would say yes, just because maybe, I was so nervous as not even as a casual fan. Greatest game seven, maybe not a casual fan. Greatest NBA Finals game, no way. Yeah, I mean, I'm like a, there were so like to me, I would put the Ray Allen shot for the Heat over this. I'd put Jordan's last shot over this. I would put John Paxton's game winning shot ninety three over this. You have a sentimental value there, though. Notice how I skipped over Steve Kerr's though. Yeah. You yeah, I, yeah. I skipped well, over that. Well, I, just just as just as a fan, this might have been one of the most exciting basketball games I've I've watched. I the mean, that's, Co- the Kobe this, Shaq first one I put over. This those. is this is up there with uh, the the UNC Villanova game from earlier this year. I mean, that was a fun yeah. game. This was a fun game. I mean, it, it, we cannot complain about Game Seven of how great it was. Cavs end up taking it. Last thing I want to throw oh out before God. you sign it off. Not a good year this year for the Under Armour athletes. Cam Newton, Jordan Spieth, and Steph Curry, 0 for 3. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. This has been a fun game, you know, doing all these reactions, getting Ricky's blood to boil. Oh, this has been fun. I know it was a little wishy-washy on my prediction, but I was still right. I was still right. I got the Sharks right. Or no, I'm sorry, I got the Sharks-Penguins right. I, got, I picked the Penguins. I got the Cavs right in 7, so I, I got to win this one. I know I picked 45-10 to 10 in the Super Bowl, but whatever. I'm talking about NHL and NBA right now. I'm 2-0 and right now, and I'm 2-0 and against bets against Ricky, so Ricky shouldn't bet against me. But anyways, it's going to wrap up this video. Tell us in the comments, was this your favorite game, NBA game to watch? Is this the best Game 7 uh, to watch? I mean, is LeBron the greatest of all time? Tell us in the comments down below. You know Ricky's opinion. Uh, you know my opinion. If you don't want to miss any NBA draft stuff coming out on our channel, subscribe to our channel down below because we're going to have stuff every single week. I just put out a new mock draft. You can check that out on our channel. Ricky's going to be putting out a great A mock draft. You do want to check that out. And if you do like these Game 7 reactions like this one down below, give us that support that if you... It, Give us that support if you feel like we deserve it. But uh, thank you so much for getting us to 2,000 subscribers as well. If you do want to subscribe, again, down below, do not forget to do that. But if you do want to talk to us in a different way, that's in the comments or subscribing or liking. You can find us on Twitter, at Pod. You can find us on Snapchat, at Pod. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Twitter, our personal Twitter, Schwarbo and Ricky Widmer. You can even find Patreon.com slash Podcast. You can find, you can help us support us in a different way. You can donate at least a dollar, get a monthly podcast. It was super fun. Mike, Brandon, and I. I did the one for July, and it's a lot of fun. That's coming out soon. Too. Do not forget to uh, check out that Patreon page if you do want to you know, help us out in that way. But that's going to wrap all of this up. It's going to wrap up all the NBA playoff stuff. It's going to wrap up all the NHL and NBA playoff stuff. We're finally in draft season. We're in the offseason. We're getting ready for the NFL. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.